Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn on some TV. Congratulations, Mr. Coffee. I hear you just become a father. Introducing Mr. Coffee Jr., the newest addition to America's favorite family of coffee makers. It's Mr. Coffee Jr., and it brews four perfect cups of coffee in four minutes. Our Mr. Coffee Jr. goes everywhere. Sometimes big ideas come in small packages. Our Mr. Coffee Jr. is perfect anywhere. He's a cute little guy, and priced just right, too. Babe, get my credit card! And Mr. Hamilton Beach Mini Drip. Well, you got some competition, and it's Mr. Coffee Jr. Now, I, Demise Media, am a very big fan of these vintage mini coffee machines. So on the left, we have the Mini Drip by Hamilton Beach, which I did a review on. Love it. But I also got a Mr. Coffee Jr. Love it. They're both very good. The thing that I like about Mr. Coffee on the right is that it's a little easier to use. If you go here, it's just one easy step. Boom, you put your coffee filter in, which I have right there. Right. Favorite mug of all time. That's it. So, you get your coffee, scoop some in there, right? One, let's say, I put about two and a half, a little bit more for my coffee. Just for one cup, this is Starbucks's Pike Place Roast, right? So, simple, right? You got that, you put it right in there, bada bing, bada boom. Get your water. So these are four cup. So you have your four cup, your 10 cup, your whatever you, 12 cup, I don't know. That just goes like that. Now with this one here, on the other hand, the Hamilton Beach, it's a little more time consuming in a way because you gotta go like this, and you gotta go like that. Right, and then to clean it off or to pour it, even what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your coffee in there. You gotta take that apart, do that, and the cleaning you gotta clean this and this and this. Uh, this comes off as well, which is pretty cool. This does not come off, so whatever. One solid piece, a bunch of little pieces, just a little nitpick about the Hamilton Beach. And that's why I do like using this on the weekends when I have a little more time. And I like using this in the weekday when I have a little less time in the morning. Now, could I settle for a new Mr. Coffee or Hamilton Beach programmable coffee machine? Yes. Would it make life easier? Yes. Do I want one of those? No. I like these. I like the vintage look. I mean, just look at this. Extra cozy. Very small. That's what I'm looking for. Nobody else in here. My family drinks black coffee like I do. So, and here's the other one. It's a little bigger. It's a little bigger than Mr. Coffee. I'm a fan of the vintage look. I'm a van fan of the, just, I don't know. All right, don't ask any questions. What we got here is water. We got our coffee here, which is the Starbucks Pike Place Roast. We have these little coffee filters. You're gonna get the mini, uh, which are like, it's, it's called four cup. You're gonna have your Mr. Coffee carafe. I don't know how to say it. And we're gonna have our cool Christmas mug. And of course, Mr. Coffee Jr. Since I'm only gonna make one cup, I'm gonna fill the water up to about one and a half, just to get a little bit more. more than one and a half. Now the reason why you put a little bit more than one cup is because a lot of the water is gonna get uh, absorbed in the coffee and uh, the coffee beans or whatever. We got our water in there. Now grab a filter, put it right here. Now bada bing, bada boom. So I'm not sure how this goes but I just do for every cup I put about two and a half tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of coffee. And a little more for good measure. I like my coffee strong. I don't like watery coffee. As a matter of fact, I don't put anything in my coffee really. Only in the mornings, like on my way to Mitrava. Oh, I'll put, let's say, a little bit of milk and a little bit of creamer. But usually at nighttime when I'm chilling, 
I just straight up drink it. Black, bruh. Black, bruh. Plug it in. Don't ever forget to plug it in or else you'll be stupid like me. Now, okay. Now for the fun part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your water, water, and pour directly, whoa, directly into the machine itself through these little holes, these little vents. Right, okay, there we go. I think I'm, start this baby up. Hear that? Do you hear that? Music to my ears. Hey, uh, Mr. Coffee, are you right there? Sounds like you're about to explode on me. Looks like it's about done. So, we're gonna get my favorite Christmas cat coffee mug. Now, what I like to do is I like to give it a couple taps on top, make sure some of that water and coffee is finished up. Look, some of it's still dripping. Come on. Voila, beautiful, dark coffee, look at that. Go ahead, turn the machine off. I always unplug it from the wall every time. Look at that, beautiful. E extra black coffee, that's how I like it. It's official, I'm an old ass man. I'm sitting in a lazy boy. I'm drinking straight up black coffee. It is what it is. I'm uh, 31 going on 95. Ooh, extremely hot, extremely hot, which is good. Like I said before, can I make my life a lot easier if I buy a brand new coffee maker that you set the time in the morning and it starts up on its own? Yes. But what I say to that is, I can make my life a lot easier if I stop drinking coffee altogether. But I'm an addict. I'm a freaking fiend for coffee. I love it. I'm a, I'm a fan of these vintage coffee makers. I'm a, I'm a fan of a lot of uh, vintage nostalgic stuff, you know. VHS tapes, crap like that, you feel me? So yeah, there's a couple ways uh, to make coffee. There's a French press, which is pretty cool. I do not own a French press. I have a mocha pot, which I really like a lot. Those are like espresso almost. It's very, very dark coffee. Um, and that's another method that I really like a lot. And I didn't really like drip coffee too much. I was like, ah, that's like for, you know, diners and freaking shitty places like that but hey when you look at those little vintage mini coffee makers and you see the simplicity of it and uh, how small it is fits right in the kitchen of our apartment you know I like it a lot so I ordered not one but two so I could you know one week I'll use one the next week I'll use one because these are old machines I don't want to use them too much you know 
So, happy Halloween to all of you, even though it's already gone. Uh, happy early Thanksgiving and a merry early Christmas to everybody. I hope you guys are having a good time. I know this is a crazy year. 2020 has been a pain in all of our asses. And uh, it is what it is. So thank you guys so much. Demise Media. Peace.